Hi everyone, all three males Harpley here. I hope you can hear some of my festive Irish music in the background. Hmm, I wonder where we're playing Irish music. I think it's because Maylie's Luck of the Irish is set in Ireland. Hooray! I'm so excited about the release party today. And um, thank you so much for joining us, whether you're joining us live or after the fact. We just appreciate you being here. If you'd like to, you can catch up on some of the posts. We're doing a grand prize giveaway of a signed copy of Maylie's Luck of the Irish, as well as a specialty bookmark and a, an original piece of artwork, which is an illustration from the book, which is exciting, right? So um, if you look at some of the posts, you'll see that I have posted some of uh, uh, some sneak peeks, a sneak peek of some of the illustrations by the awesome illustrator, Monica Bringes, who's going to join us right here in just a minute. And we're going to be able to answer your questions. So if you have any questions, please uh, throw them in the comments right now and we will be able to answer those in just a little bit. But first, I'm going to finish the intro and then we're going to play a game of Pictionary. And like I said in the earlier live, you might be asking, Morgan, why are you going to do a Pictionary game against a professional artist? Because it's fun. <laughs> and I told Monica she has to draw with her non-dominant hand, which is her left hand. So it's going to be fun. And she's still going to do better than me. We played this game at our first release party for Melee in the Maze, which if you have not gotten a copy of Melee in the Maze, it is free on Kindle right now. So go to Amazon. There's a post about it and get your free digital copy of Melee in the Maze, which is exciting. And then you can get your copy of Melee's Luck of the Irish. You can either get it on Amazon, but if you would, um, I would love for you to get a signed copy from me. I love signing the books. Each book in the series, I'm going to do a different special message written inside a special message for each book. So I would love to sign copy, sign a copy for you. Um, so you can either email me at mltarpleybooks at gmail.com or you can message me here on Facebook and I would love to um, arrange for you to get a copy. We, I'm gonna ship um, to continental US. So if you're in the continental unit US, please, let me know and I will be glad to ship you a copy. Let's see. I got a list of things I need to talk about because I was just like, I'm going to forget something. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so we got games. We have three games going on. Um, you'll see a game about what's your leprechaun name, <laughs> which is funny. Um, it's also a game about Irish slang. Do you know what the Irish slang stands for? And I think we're going to have some really creative guesses. So I can't wait to see that. And there's a game. Um, a scavenger hunt. That's right. A scavenger hunt about an author scavenger hunt. So those three games, whoever wins those individual games will have a specialty bookmark mailed to you. And I think that's it. So if you have questions, like I said, please throw them in the con comments. We're excited that you're here. And without further ado, I'm going to bring Monica on. Hooray! Hey! Hi. Hello. How's it going? Great. Great. Well, here we are again. Another book launch, right? Yeah. It's exciting. I know. It's last last book launch in the party was so much fun. And are you up for Pictionary? Are you ready? Mm, I think so. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. And it's just fun to laugh at yourself because it just you know, we need more laughter, especially yeah. in 2020 and 2021, right? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. So we want you to help guess what we're drawing. We're going to do two rounds each. Um, Monica's going to draw with her non-dominant hand. Like I said, love hand. I'm drawing with my dominant hand. It will still be bad. I'm not trying to be an artist. I'm just being myself. And I, I appreciate <laughs> that Monica can be my illustrator is all I got to say. Cause I couldn't be my oh, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, Monica, is the music okay in the back? I don't want to drive y'all crazy with my music in the background. I hardly hear it now. So okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, if you can't hear me over the music, which is pretty low in the background, let me know. But okay, so mm -hmm. we want y'all to guess. You may even beat me or Monica from guessing what you know, which what it is. So let's see. Yeah, I was I was slow last time. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Uh, I'm sorry. It's just my 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 pictures can be many things. <laughs> no, we're going to random 
word pictionary generator. So we have a random word. I did put it on medium category. It's not on easy. So we will see. All right, guys. If you if you think you know what it is, please comment. I'm gonna try to draw up here. Okay. You're gonna have to hold it a little closer. Like I will. Here I, I okay. will. In just a minute. Okay. Are those eyeballs? Is it a bicycle? Is it a wagon? Yes! Oh my gosh! <gasps> those look like wagon oh wheels. Oh <laughs> wagon. I guess I did decent. Awesome. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I'm so glad that I didn't have to try to draw a mule because it would have looked horrible. <laughs> hey! That would be hard. That would be really hard. Thank you. You got it so Oh my fast. goodness. All okay. right. All right, Monica. Speaking of hard, Morgan. <laughs> okay. Um, I already looked at my words, so it's in my head. Um, okay. Left hand, guys. Oh, this is so hard. Oh. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> okay. A, a seashell. Hmm. Oh, a fish. A flounder. Am I allowed to draw arrows? Am I allowed to draw? <laughs> sure. Am I, am I allowed to circle? <laughs> no, I don't know circling. We'll let you get away with arrows. Arrows. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like a, a kissing fish or something. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah I guess it's a fish. Someone says okay. a flower in um in here. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you're pointing to that. So it is. So a fin. A fin. Fin. So yeah. Fin. Finn. 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 <laughs> Finn. <laughs> hey, we're Weird going to add on. Oh, good. Y'all got it too in the comments. Finn. Yes. Yeah, good job. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, Les, let me go to my next one, generate. Um, let's see. What's it gonna be? Okay. All right, I'm going to try mine. We're going pretty fast. We might actually do six rounds. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> Just scratch the top one, guys. I'm only going to walk down here. Or down here so. Mm. A tree. Mm. I think my pen's running out of ink. Hold on. Yeah, it's Wait, really hard to see. Yeah, hold on. I got a new pen, and that this one, this one should be brighter. Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh, there it's a little bit clear. It's really kind of hard to see, but hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, okay. Oh, yours is an ocean theme too. Okay. Uh, -huh. uh Can I draw an arrow? <laughs> is it the Monterey Bay Aquarium? <laughs> is it <laughs> fish tank? Is it a seashell? Is it the sea floor? Wait, is that a, that's not seaweed? Uh, is it yeah, an eel? Seaweed. Seaweed. Is it seaweed. seaweed? seaweed. Oh, we got seaweed. it. Oh, they got it. Okay, awesome. Good job. Bye. Oh, yay. <laughs> yay. Is it too horrible? It looks like a bit of a snake, maybe. <laughs> no, I, I think it's, yeah, it does look like seaweed. I wasn't sure which one thing you were pointing at because you got so detailed. Sorry. You really oh. put a lot into that one. All right. Yeah. I put two. I put a, a good <laughs> All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Hey, we're doing faster. It didn't take us as long. Oh, gosh. One time last oh. time. Oh. 10 minutes, I think. That's right. It's my turn now, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay, I, yeah, I already got my word. Um, okay. Mm. Right. <laughs> How do you see? Okay. I'm not very good at drawing while you're seeing. You're doing a good job with that. Pants, shorts, pockets, zipper. <laughs> Seams, stitching. Later, later, Hosen. <laughs> <laughs> so much for being detailed. Ella, I've been to Germany. Oh, someone said jeans. Did they get yes. it right? 
Yes. Yay, you're done. Y'all got it. I was, I was trying to draw some specific details of what kind of pants, and I was trying to draw, you know, the jeans often have the, the stitching showing. I, but yeah, they do kind of look like Lederhosen, don't they? Yeah. You are, in just, you, know. you are in Wisconsin, and there's German heritage, yeah. you know, in you, know, you right? You should just do that to it. There you go. <laughs> Go in the comments. Oh, oh very good. It looks like Maley's overalls. Yeah. Maley's overalls. Oh right. yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm do another one because that was so quick. Let's do another sure. one. Okay, let's see. Oh, sorry, <laughs> there was a loud noise. <laughs> I got startled. Okay, I'm gonna try I'm to do so better. I'm, sorry. I'm gonna go to a whole new page, and I'm gonna try to do do like you're doing drawing while you can see i'm just not good huh. okay. it's hard <laughs> hey like that yeah oh gosh <laughs> i don't i don't i just don't know is that olaf's hand no, I don't know. <laughs> Is that um, a scarecrow? <laughs> a snow fan? Uh, this is so hot. <laughs> I can't see well now. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I'll, 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 I'll bring it closer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm going to draw. Wait. Okay. Okay. I, okay. Hold on. Okay, um, I can't see that at all. You have to bring it more. Oh, sorry, I went the wrong way. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, oh, is that like uh, torso, chest, um, stomach? Keep um, going. Wait, wait. There's I don't tracks. Ooh. Is yeah. that a train conductor? No, I don't know how to draw this this thing. A oh. ladder? Is he? Uh. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> they, they got it. Spine, spine. Thank you. Wow, y'all. Oh, wow. Oh, great guess, sir. I didn't know how to do the vertebrae. Huh. Oh you yeah. Okay. I had an anatomy class, and I can't draw. Way to go, guys. Yeah, I was trying Good to do job. a skeleton thing, and that was the that was the spine. <laughs> okay, I see it now. Yeah, I see it. Good oh, job. Okay. Well, now <laughs> my my time is over. One more for you, Monica. Okay. Okay, no, in the comment, I will. I you are you want a a specialty bookmark because y'all guessed twice. Y'all doing awesome. I'm gonna get y'all a yeah. special bookmark. I'll message you. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Uh, this one is hard. Okay. Hmm. I really a calm, a toast, a maze, a maze. It maze. really is. Maze. It's a maze. <laughs> yeah, really is. isn't that perfect? It's like mainly in the maze. <laughs> oh, that is funny. I was like, yeah, I was like thinking, like, I was like, wait a minute. We have a maze. <laughs> yeah. We have a maze. Yeah. Right Oh my gosh. I thought that was gonna be really hard to draw. So I'm so glad you guessed it before I had well, to draw the whole maze. I happen to have mazes on the brain, so maybe that helped. <laughs> yeah. That's Yay. Great. All right, that, that was so much fun. So I don't see any any questions right now in the in the comments. Mm -hmm. If you have a question, please let us know. Um someone said I love mailing the maze so far. It's amazing. Yay, I'm so glad oh, that you're enjoying yeah. it. Um so um mm -hmm. if have any questions we can just talk uh i'll talk a second about um the book itself and inspiration and also monica i want to do us talk about what our favorite illustrations were or maybe which mm -hmm. illustration maybe at least one that you had most fun you think drawing what do you think why don't you go ahead i had to do some cows that was fun <laughs> I, did post, I think i posted a cow i did post a cow in the post <laughs> i love cows <laughs> Yeah. I think it was like quirky, funny ones, like mm -hmm. where it's maybe doing something silly or there or something comical is happening. Like in the first book, you know, mm -hmm. with uh, Camden accidentally knocking down the woman and she's like teetering and 
her hair is all standing up and stuff. I think those are fun. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. And, and the one with the, <laughs> oh my God, that one. yes. Okay. So I can't tell you what, exactly what happens in Maylee's look of the Irish, but there's this woman, that one right there. <laughs> and she is involved and it's a really funny scene in I believe chapter yeah. two. I can look, I think it's chapter yeah. two. It's early. It's like around page 30. It's the end something, of chapter 30. two. Yep. It's the end of chapter yeah. two. And Monica, so so tell me about you cutting her out and culling her because I think she's awesome. <laughs> well, I so I, when I was, I, I draw the illustrations in pencil first and then I go over them in pen. So it's called inking, right? So when I was inking, I messed up on Maylee's hand. Maylee's also in this scene and I messed up on her hands. So I had to start over. So I had this scrap with the old woman and Maylee, part of Maylee on it. So I, I just, one day I, I was, you know, I thought, you know what, I'm going to cut her out and I'm going to color her in. <laughs> and she makes this, you know, this weird little buddy that I don't know what to do with, but I'm just kind of amused by her, her she's, expression here. She's, you a see. Bookmark. <laughs> she's a bookmark. She's a really good Yeah. Book. Hey, maybe yeah. so maybe I'll keep her in my copy of the book. Hey, do you? I hope you still have the mailing that you cut out and put on your cat. Oh yeah, I have that one too. Yeah, well, then you on should my board. color it yeah. in and say both of it. So each book you'll have one cut out character. <laughs> so yeah, I gotta tell this about Monica. So <laughs> she has to use things for reference, like size reference and stuff. So in the first book, there's a there's a, there's a illustration of Maylee in her mind and her imagination riding a giant cat. And so Monica <laughs> has cats. And so she actually cut out a little Maylee illustration and had it sitting on the back of her cat. And it was the <laughs> cutest thing ever. It was so funny. And so now I was thinking about that one. So now she has the grandma that she can put the old lady <laughs> anywhere in her book and a bookmark sitting up on her desk. Yeah. It's perfect. Cause she's in a sitting pose. So yeah, just a bookmark. <laughs> maybe, maybe you can use them in a bookmark for the book. Like that could be the bookmark for Maylee's like of the Irish on your shelf or something. Or yeah. Like I think so. something. That's really cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's, just, it's fun. And uh, I think, I have a picture. I'll have to see if I have to post it, but you sent me a picture. You also use like Barbie dolls and things like that for, for poses. So like Maylee yeah. learned this book is about music, particularly Irish music and which is a big part of the Irish culture. And so Maylee learns a little bit in Camden about Irish music and culture. And she learns about this drum called a boron. And so Monica had to draw that and to get the portion right, she had a, like a Barbie doll holding like, what was it, like a bottle cap or something? Or a piece of tape? Oh, it, was she tape? I think, oh, I think I had a, um, I can't remember. Yeah, I think I tried different things for this to get the right scale, the proportion. Yeah. So, yeah. But I had a, I had a, a Harry Potter Hermione doll. So That's because right. she's holding the wand, I thought, oh, this is a good reference. It's like the stick, the drum stick. stick. The drum. <laughs> That's really good. So I, yeah, so I posed her, and that's that's what I used um, as part of my reference to draw the the cover. Yeah, yeah. it was so. it was really good. maybe if you don't mind, I'll post that picture on my social media on Facebook. Yeah, because really, it was yeah, it's really fun. cute, and it's a cool insight into what illustrators do. Because so what happens just to give a, a you know short for the short um, mm -hmm. answer. So what we do is I of course write the story, and then I have to go through the manuscript, and I I look at the different scenes that stand out to me that maybe have something really funny or something scary or something really important that happened, and it, if. And while I'm reading, sometimes I, you know, I visualize, I'll visualize things that happen in my head as I'm reading, like, like it's a movie. And then certain scenes that I'm like, I think that needs to be a visual, like not just words, but actual visual. And then I put a note on the side of it. Monica read it and you added notes and you kind of said, mm -hmm. well, what if we do this too? You know, this. And so that's kind of how, how it worked. And then Monica takes kind of my descriptions and stuff. I'm getting better at that. Hope. <laughs> oh yeah. You're great. <laughs> and then you turn them into illustrations. You want to talk about that for a, for a minute? Like how you do that? Oh yeah. Yeah. So Morgan's really good at um, providing notes and references right. for me. Yeah, no, it's really helpful. So, you know, when we started the series, we did character designs. We figured out what each character was going to look like for the main characters. But then each book has, you know, special characters, too. So we figure that, those out as we go. And, um, and um, oh, dear. <laughs> Not supposed to say, um, am I? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. 
<laughs> but the first thing I do then after kind of assessing the needs of the scene is we gather reference and Morgan helps with that. And sometimes I look up some of my own, often it's photographs, but sometimes there's a suppose that I don't know um, like how, quite how to draw from imagination. So that's when I use yeah. Yeah, so that's what, if I can't find a photo or something, that's where the dolls come in handy. Um, there's also some online 3D tools. There's you know one called Poser where you have a 3D person you can pose. I I, I find it quicker though to just grab an action figure or a doll and just <laughs> you know do that <laughs> and then take a photo of them and that's my reference. So and that's really fun um, too because for your job as an adult, you get to play with action figures. I like that. Yeah, it's great. It's such a great excuse <laughs> to play with toys. I love it <laughs> so yeah, much. Well, it, so. it serves its purpose. Because like I said, sometimes it's that you need to be able to put their arm in a certain angle or turn them a mm -hmm. certain way to be able to see their profile to draw. Because right. I know I make you draw Maylee's face from like every angle imaginable. Mm -hmm. I know it can be difficult so, mm -hmm. and you do a great job. So I'm glad you have the references with the dolls and I try to find you the pictures, but, and sometimes I, so, we pose too. We sometimes yeah. we take our own photos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I do send you photos of me making really silly faces. Those will never yeah. find them. destroy them, Monica. Destroy them. <laughs> no, <laughs> I will keep that. Oh, no. oh, <laughs> oh, well, you know, it's okay. But anyway, so, yeah, so we have a lot of fun, if you can't tell, working on uh, the projects. And we'll be busy working on the next book, book three. And in just a minute, when we close off this live, I'm actually going to reveal the location of the book three and the title. So, yay! I'm, I'm writing it right now. I'm halfway done. So I'm, this is definitely motivating me to get back on, on the writing. And I'm, I'm excited. Um, each uh, book in the series, I've actually been to the country. And it's based off, loosely based, obviously, off my experiences there. This book is set in Ireland. And um, if you see, see some of the posts that I've already done, I talk, I showed some pictures of me in Ireland in Dublin. Maylie goes to Dublin, which is the capital of Ireland, the Republic of Ireland. And then I also uh, went to Cork, the city of Cork, and then a town uh, called Blarney in Blarney Castle, which plays a part in this book as well. And I have post uh, some pictures about that. And just going to Ireland and hearing, I went to a live music show and I've always loved like, Irish and Celtic music. So it's just, to me, like really, you know, lively and just fun and you just feel it. You just feel it in your bones. <laughs> like, and it makes you happy. And I wanted to encapsulate that in my story. I wanted to bring that magic to the story for Maylee to really experience that in Ireland. And I, um, I can't wait to you experience the magic too. You're reading Maylee's Look at the Irish. Um, I had a fun time writing it and I would love to go back to Ireland one day, but I really, it was fun revisiting some of the memories and Monica, you want to go to Ireland now for sure, right? Yeah, definitely. So um, what was your favorite place that you went like within Ireland, <laughs> of course, <laughs> that that's featured in the book? Do you have a yeah. favorite? Well, Blarney Castle was amazing. And Blarney, like Blarney Castle, it has like a lot, lots of like forest and like fields and roads, like um, pathways you can walk on. They have a fern garden and a waterfall, which you'll see in the book. They have a, a manor house, like a Blarney house, it's called. And just the walkways and the and all the green and the fields and the grass and the trees. It's just such a peaceful place. And you could just explore there for hours. So we went and toured the castle and then we walked around through the woodland pass and along fields and stone stone fences and then went to the house and it was just really it was just really cool so I would love to go back to Blarney Castle and I'll tell y'all something really cool but um mm. to be able to you know put some of the illustrations for Blarney Castle in my book I wanted to get permission ask permission for it from the owner of Blarney Castle there is one man and his family that owned the castle which isn't that so cool <laughs> and mm. I had to ask um, the director of their public relations department and he talked to the owner and the owner um, loved the illustrations and the idea of the book so much he wants to put it in their gift shop how cool is that guys like, I'm so, like, <laughs> so exciting <laughs> that Millie's Look of the Irish will in the future be in the gift shop of Blarney Castle like that's wow and I'm just so I'm so pleased that the owner of the castle his family's owned the castle for hundreds of years which just blows my mind and actually in the back of Maylie, the Maylie's Look of the Irish 
you'll learn about the real castle because I have a, an information section where you can learn about the real castle and the family and stuff that um, have lived there for hundreds of years. But anyway, so that's a little tidbit. Oh, I have a question. Have you always loved to travel? I have always loved to travel and wanted to travel, but I didn't ever really get to travel a lot until I was um, around 20. And so when I was growing up, when I was seven, eight, nine years old, I always loved to look at maps and globes and books that talk about different cultures around the world and languages and different countries. And it was always interesting to me, even though I lived in a very, very small town and we traveled like to some states in the U.S., um, but really beyond that, we didn't go anywhere else. And so I didn't go out of the country until I was almost 20. And so, oh, wow. um, yeah. And so it, it, you know, so if you like to travel, but you're not going to travel when you're when you're younger or you're um, then, you know, when you're in college or maybe after you graduate from college or getting get a job and working, you can travel, too. So. Mm -hmm. Monica's traveled too. She's lived in Japan, which is so cool. I've never been <laughs> yeah. to Japan. <laughs> yeah, I first went to Japan, I think, when I was about 20 or I think. And um, yeah, before that, I'd been on a few trips to Europe with my family. I think I was maybe about 13 um, when we took our first trip to Germany. I'm half German. And my so my dad was born in Germany. So we went there. He wanted to show us where he lived when he was a baby and so cool. <laughs> things like that. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's so that's awesome, fun. Monica. I knew you had German heritage, yeah. but I didn't know your dad was from Germany. Oh my gosh. That's really mm -hmm. awesome. We'll talk more about that. Yeah. I've been to Germany twice and <laughs> I loved it. Yeah. yeah. It's great. <laughs> great food. <laughs> oh yeah. And Germany and Japan are so different. It's so funny because sometimes yeah. the, the, the cultures we're drawn to are not necessarily our her heritage. Like you with Japan, mm -hmm. I've always been drawn to um, like the Hispanic culture, like Spain oh, and yeah. uh, Mexico and Costa Rica and all that. Mm -hmm. But I have no um, that I know of Spanish heritage. And so it's interesting that um, we're interested in cultures that are not, you know, within mm -hmm. our, our DNA and, and genetics. So, but it's just yeah. neat. There's so many different, you know, amazing things around the world to see whether it's completely, mm -hmm. completely, than what your life is like and your heritage and your uh, family. And it's just interesting to see other people. And that's one thing about the Maylee series. Um, even if you can't travel right now, which we can't really travel if we wanted to, it's very limited. <laughs> you know? um, but if you can't for any reason, we can always travel through fiction. And with Maylee, Maylee, um, I wanted to write these books to be able to show um, anybody, not just kids, anybody, adults read these books too. And I'm so glad to show different places and new cultures and new words, just like with Irish slang, you know, it's still English, but it's completely different mm -hmm. way of speaking English. Just like they, mm -hmm. just like in Melee, Melee in the Maze, the British words, vocabulary were different, but all right, guys, I think that's it. Um, but I do want to reveal, um, the new title of book three and the location, so, all right, let's bring it up here. Awesome. It is yeah. <laughs> Travel with Maylee to Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and it is coming fall 2021, so you won't have that long to wait, but I got to get busy and get writing. So we're thank you so much, everybody, for coming mm -hmm. to the release party. Um, thanks for reading the books and your support, and I just appreciate it. I've wanted to – write um, books and publish them since I was probably eight or nine years old. Um, it definitely mm -hmm. took a long time to get there, but you know, um, it doesn't matter when it happens. You just, you, you know, do what you can to follow your dreams and whenever, whenever you can, it might happen, it, you know, so that's kind of it, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I'm just thankful mm -hmm. and I'm enjoying it. But thanks so much, Monica. It was great to do Pictionary and chat with you and we yeah, will be working you. on Maylee book three's cover like next week. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Can't wait to show that. We'll be working on the illustrations this summer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, thanks, Monica. You have a great day. Thank you. You too. Mm -hmm. Like I said, thanks, guys. I really appreciate y'all tuning in. And please check out um, Maylee's. Maylee, Maylee in the Maze, which is free on Kindle. If you don't have uh, the digital copy already, it's free right now on Amazon. 
And then also I'll be, I'm selling signed copies and I will be doing some local book signings in the very near future. I'll be posting on social media for those dates. So I would love to talk to you in person. I always love chatting and asking um, what you like to read and just, um, you know, that kind of thing. But it's fun. Everybody have a great Saturday and, and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.